Does the Greek of the New Testament show that Peter is not the rock? Whenever people talk about the papacy, they usually go to Matthew 16, 18, where Jesus tells Peter, And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. Catholics take from this that Jesus meant to establish a particular office of leadership within the early church and to build it especially on the Apostle Peter. And so if Peter is the rock on whom the church is built, this provides evidence for the doctrine of the papacy. Now, some Protestants have taken a different understanding to this, and they go to the Greek of the New Testament and say, no, Peter's not the rock because a different Greek word is used to describe him. Jesus says, I tell you, you are Peter, Petros, and on this rock, Petras, which is a different Greek word, I will build my church. And so they say, Jesus is building the church on something else, a Petra, not Petros. Uh, The oldest version of this argument that I can find comes from William Cathcart's 1872 book, The Papal System, where he writes, The Greek word Petros, or Peter, is not the word translated rock. That word is Petra. Now, the arguments evolved since then because it's pretty obvious Petra and Petros, they both mean rock. You'll hear people say, and I tell you, you are Peter, Petros, which means tiny pebble. You are a little tiny pebble. And on this rock, Petros, which is Christ, the giant boulder, I will build my church. So they'll say Petros just means a tiny pebble that couldn't be a foundation for anything. And it's different than the Petros, which is the giant boulder. And so Christ, Peter is not the rock, he's just the little pebble. He is not what the church is built on. But there's two problems with this argument. First, it doesn't explain why Jesus changed Simon's name to Peter in the first place. Remember, Peter was named Simon, the son of Jonah. And then Jesus changed his name to Peter. Why? Whenever God changes someone's name in Scripture, the new name is a clue to their new identity. So why would Jesus go to the trouble of changing Simon's name to Peter, which means rock, only to say, you are rock, I will build my church on rock, but not on the rock that's you, on a completely different rock. It just creates unnecessary confusion. And other Protestant scholars can see this. Craig Keener, who's a really excellent New Testament scholar, he says, Jesus plays on Simon's nickname, Peter, which is roughly the English Rocky. Peter is Rocky, and on this rock, Peter, Jesus would build his church. The second problem with this argument is that There's no major difference between the Greek words Petros and Petra. One is masculine and one is feminine, but there's not a significant difference in meaning between these two words. You go all the way back to the Protestant Reformation, John Calvin acknowledges this. He says there is no difference of meaning, I acknowledge, between the two Greek words Petros and Petra. You go fast forward to the 20th century, 21st century, D.A. Carson, an excellent New Testament scholar, a Protestant scholar, he says, although it is true that Petros and Petra can mean small stone and large rock respectively in earlier Greek, like before the New Testament, the distinction is largely confined to poetry. And that's not what we have in the Gospels, which we have historical, ancient, biographical accounts. He says the Greek, so why doesn't the Greek, though, just say, Uh, Petros and Petros, or Petra and Petra. Why isn't Peter called a Petra instead of Petros? Carson gives us the answer. He says the Greek makes the distinction between Petros and Petra simply because it is trying to preserve the pun. And in Greek, the feminine Petra could not very well serve as a masculine name. Carson goes on to say, if it were not for Protestant reactions against extremes of Roman Catholic interpretations, it is doubtful whether many would have taken rock to be anything or anyone other than Peter. So Carson, of course, does not believe in the papacy, but he sees no problem in saying, look, the rock that's being built on in Matthew 16, 18 is Peter. Peter is the rock. That's something even Protestant New Testament scholars acknowledge. And then we can have a discussion about the meaning of Peter being the rock and whether that naturally leads to the doctrine of the papacy or not. But it's very clear, and even Protestants recognize this, that Peter is the rock in Matthew 16, 18. And the difference between the Greek words Petros and Petra do not show that Peter is not the rock. And so if you like this video and want to help us uh, make more videos like this to help share the truth with others, I hope you'll go to trendhornpodcast.com, become a subscriber there, Uh, click on the subscribe button below here in this video so you can check out more great content coming from us. Thank you all so much and have a great day.